everybody, it's Vickily Matthew here, and welcome back to Let's Play Pitfall the Lost Expedition Part 12. Last episode, we, um. What we. Well, we got the TNT. <sighs> it's gonna be one of these episodes, isn't it? No, I'm just kidding. But, in the last episode, we, um. We got the TNT, as you can see in the top left. What the fuck? God damn it. Fucking jump, you cunt. You gotta slide down. So, TNT. So basically, we can just use this on anything that we can even use it on these guys. But anyways, we got the we got the TNT, and we went to the Akigo Ice Caverns. A special place that we had to use TNT to get to, to get like 13 idols, 12 I think actually. Is that what he says? Oh, okay. My mistake. Well, sweet! We said another freaking explorer. So I'm probably just gonna pause it until I get there. So I'll see you guys there. Forgot to show you guys one thing. Remember this guy back in the very beginning? Well, now I can kill him with TNT. Here we go. I got 14. Yeah. Let's get some jungle nuts, shall we? So that should show us everything we need, right? Yeah. Firebomb Towers, Gates of Eldorado, Ruins of Eldorado. Huh. I'm gonna check these places out. Mysterious Temple. I haven't found that either. Well, guess what? We'll to find those in another episode. <laughs> yeah, that's probably gonna be towards the end of the game. 
Well, the mysterious temple is actually going to be this episode. To be quite honest. Well, guess I gotta talk to the tree. See you guys in a second. Oh, so I forgot to show you guys this idol. Might have been one more in here. Hey, I think, no. I already got that idol. Hey, hey, there's some secret idols for you guys. And so basically, I can unpause it because now we are at the Combriders Camp. What do you know? I wonder how they even got here, anyways. Or how they're gonna get out. Oh, where's Nicole? I sent her back here. Honestly, Harry, I don't know what to tell you. She came through here and then said some words in what sounded like native tongue. And suddenly there was a passageway to those ruins, clear as day. Also, that was a had been there all along. I asked her how she knew it was there. And she told me a shaman had told her how to find it, and that he was going to help save her father. Her father is dead. How do you know? Nicole and I found his remains. Poor Kevin, and poor Nicole. This is my fault. I let Kevin down. He chose his fate. You chose yours. I'm choosing mine. I'm going to find Nicole. Well, that's exactly what we're going to do. Calm down. Calm down. Oh. Oh, Mysterious temple, yep. Yeah. This place is kind of cool, I guess. Sorry, I thought it was like starting to spring in the morning. This is pretty cool. But also not, because it's quite more freaky. Uh, why are there these? Why would there need to be these down here? Please, God. So tell me why. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, God. Please, oh, God. No, no, hit me. Oh. What? Work rides. you've got some answers that you haven't been sharing. I had to see if you were the one before I could tell you. Of course I am. The, the one what? The one who find the artifacts. They've needed 500 years in these temples to gather power. What power? The power to open the door to El Dorado and activate the time temple inside. To take me back to my city just as I left it 500 years ago. And to save my people from the Spanish invaders. You're from the past? The Spanish were okay. about to invade our homeland. Pusca, El Dorado's high priest, argued that we should surrender to them. <laughs> Father, the king chose instead to fight. Oh, Everyone was killed. But not before I was sent forward in time to realize my father's plan. Plan? In these temples, my father hid the artifacts that you now hold. The Over the past, they've been slowly collecting power. This time to collect them and return home. With the power of the artifacts, I can't we're get that because I don't have one. El Dorado back into its own past. There, my people will live out their lives in peace. They'll find only the ruins of a city that once existed a thousand years earlier. That's a risky plan. And he opposed my father. He was banished from El Dorado. And he walked the earth these last 500 years, stealing the life force of others, waiting for the prophecy to come to pass, so he could return to the past before the story started. He must be stopped. My father foresaw that a man from this time would be destined to help return the artifacts to El Dorado. Puska believes that man to be St. Clair, but St. Clair is a false promise. 
You are the one the prophet. I'm the one. You see that? I'm the one. I'm not uh, the, the one. one. I'm not the two. I'm not even a seven. I'm not even the seven. Because apparently Maybe you only you have eight hands. Fingers. You chose to Whoops. hear the voice of your destiny. Oh, Will you help? Shit. All right, that's enough. I can't listen to any more of this. You've already messed up my life. Now you're gonna mess up his too? You'll get him killed by Pushka. And what are you doing here? Nicole's missing, and you're here playing 20 questions with... This Jaguar is cursed. Ignore him. He's blessed with speech. He used to steal food from the villagers. He ignored my pleading, and then my warnings. So I cursed him with the power of speech. Now he fits in with neither mankind nor his own kind. Is this true? Well, uh, yeah. only the part about the stealing, and the curse, and the rest of it. But these are small flaws, and they're easily overlooked. Puska has the missing artifact. You must help me get it. What the fuck? How did you touch me? Last artifact. Okay, don't touch me. From the one they called McAllister. Are you gonna listen to the butterfly-obsessed Jaguar Cursor? Or are you gonna help Nicole, who's missing and needs you right now? Without you, all the people of Eldorado will be killed by the Spanish. Though it will happen 500 years ago. You knew what you were doing. Wow, hell. What? What? Oh, fine. Abandon Nicole. The way you abandoned that Dr. Crane. You didn't care about Crane. And you don't care about Nicole. And you don't care about me. The one true friend you have. I'm gonna head back to the ruins where St. Clair's men are and get myself captured. That'll get me into their camp, and I can steal the final artifact. I'll meet you outside the gates of El Dorado. Be careful. It's the chameleon! The one you would never thought. So that was my great plan. Get captured on purpose by St. Clair's men, get the last artifact, and then fulfill an ancient prophecy by saving El Dorado. Me and my big mouth. <laughs> That's gonna be fun. That will definitely be fun. Yeah, hey, we still have time left, so we still have about three minutes left to do whatever we want. Oh, well, let's go ahead and try to make our way over there as fast as we can. Woo! Ah, uh, you know what? I might pause it and get myself captured at the very part of that, so I might do that. See you guys in a bit. All right, guys. Looks like I, I took a little shortcut to get over here. Bye. And we made it all the way back to the flooded courtyard. What do you know? Right out to here. Yeah, made it. All right. So before we actually go inside, uh, I need to do a few things. <laughs> I like bugging my skating. That's all, mate. Foggy. Oh, I missed <laughs> Oh, shit. I was bugging mosquitoes, mate. Oh, mate. Oh. So, yeah, I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to do anything. Jurassic here because something happens if I go over there. It happens every single time. So these guys over here, over over here, will be killing something, and I'll go over there, and the game will freeze every single time. I'm not sure why. It just does. And it's quite annoying. I feel like the game didn't program it to actually do that. So whenever you go over there, it's just like, uh, 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 hey look, idols! Nice! This guy. Hey, what's up? Hey. Hey, you doing? Hey. And you go. Shit! <laughs> oh, okay. Alright. BAM! Okay, there he is. So there's the last idol in this place, I believe. Actually, uh... Except for me blowing them up, that is, because I blew this one up over here. My bad. You would think this place would be nice, but no. Not, not even the slightest. Yeah, I just need to stay away from there at all costs. So over here is where we need to go. 
You guys don't remember this place. Yep. St. Clair's Excavation Camp. Uh, I think you're dead, dude. I think you're straight dead. Here we go. Let's see what happens. This is gonna be fun. Yep, just walk in all nice and calm. If we if we went in here any earlier, nothing would have happened. Huh? What the fuck? What the fuck, dude? Huh? What? Well, well, we well, we failed. What the fuck did you say to me? We end up inside a cage. We're getting out! Oh. So I would have been fine just sleeping there. And that's how we begin. So basically, all of our items have been stolen and put into different things. And of course, we gotta kill these guys, actually. We gotta kill all of them. No one must be left unkilled. There's four, I believe. No, that's six, I think. There's seven. Oh, no, there's seven. And the eighth one is inside the excavation tent. Uh, uh, or the big tent. Basically, it's telling you, you gotta sneak, about, sneak around quietly or you'll be caught. But unfortunately, we're going to continue that next episode. Unfortunately, I really want to actually do this right now. I really want to do this right now. This is like my favorite part of the game. Up to this point. Even though it's like basically towards the end of the game. But I'm not going to judge. This game is fun, even in itself. Just with everything it's done so far. Alright. You just have to do it. Poor old Harry, he's got caught and he's beat up. Harry's just like, hey. Hey. What do you mean? Basically, that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. And in the next episode, we're going to go ahead and go through the excavation camp, get our idols back. Or not get our idols, get our amulets back, get our items back, and defeat St. Clair once and for all. So thank you all so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys later.